you know, people ask us all the time, well, why don't people believe the scientific evidence of climate change? And people have not realized that this is part of a much bigger pattern, that it's a pattern of people who reject scientific evidence when it threatens their political interests or when it threatens their economic interests. And in fact, there's a kind of playbook that has been developed that industries and political organizations use to discredit science by trying to raise doubt. And what we showed in our book, how this pattern had been used over and over again over the course of half a century. What you do find is that technological change does change society in very profound ways, but it's often not nearly as sudden or abrupt as people seem to think it is. The real disruption that we face in the world today is climate disruption, because as the climate begins to change, it's going to have very, very profound effects, very profound disruptive effects. What we really want is to look to science and technology to stop disruption, because the reality is disruption is bad for most people. Like the whole idea of using disruption is like a good thing, you know, as a, as a positive breakthrough. That actually is not consistent with what we know from history. People like stability. People don't do well when change happens too rapidly. What we need is a non-disruptive transition to a stable society in order to stave off really damaging and disruptive climate change.